Hey everybody, it's Joelle, and I am here to tell you all about Just Think. I'm going to tell you that that coin was in fact in your left hand. You are a truth teller, and the coin did swap over and it's now in your right hand. Yeah. <laughs> Just Think is a solid witch hand routine, and all that you need is one single coin. There are no special gimmicks or magician's tools. In actual fact, you don't need to perform the routine with a coin. You can perform this completely propless. Let me show you a completely uncut performance of Just Think. Debbie, here is a coin. I want you to take hold of it. It's more than a coin. It's actually access to our memories. Okay. Well, it is at least with what's about to happen. In a moment, you're going to place your hands behind your back right. and you are going to choose which hand it goes into. So think of any number between one and five. Right. Okay. All right. Now place your hands behind your back and oh, you can have one or five, by the way. So right. if you haven't and you feel like you want them, you can change your mind now. Okay. All right. Um, and what I want you to do is move the coin from hand to hand determined by the number that you're thinking of. So it'll either jump back to the same hand or it'll end up in a completely different hand. All right. Yep. And when you're ready, bring both hands out, but make sure the coin is completely hidden and bring your hands up in the air. This is a skill that's taken me years to learn. I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. I'll show you the difference between a guess and mind reading. But you'd agree it'd be good if I could tell you which hand that that coin is now in. Yep. You ready? Yep. This is the difference between a guess and mind reading. That coin is in your right hand. No. That was just a guess. And now I'm going to show you mind reading. Are you ready? Yep. It's in your left hand. <laughs> How good is that? But of course, that's me just messing around. What if we could actually do this for real? That would be pretty cool, right? Yep. But obviously I can't read minds, but what I can do is read thoughts. Okay. I'll show you what I mean. Take the coin and in a moment you're going to place your hands behind your back and I want you to think of a number again from one to five. You can have the same number if you like and switch it again depicted by that amount that you're thinking of. Right. So you're either in a new hand or you're in the same hand. Mm -hmm. Now think of a word. Right. And once you've got that word in mind, I want you to spell and move from hand to hand depicted by the letters. So as an example, R O C K and so on. Yeah. All right. Um, and then do you want to swap again? No. Nope. Okay. Bring both hands out and hold them in front of you and lift them up a little bit. You'd agree there's no way that I could now know which hand contains the coin, right? Mm. But now imagine that that coin is actually made of rock okay. and it starts to get really, really heavy. Imagine it getting really, really heavy and almost imagine it happening. But now imagine it starts to get really hot okay. and it turns into a really hot rock. And now imagine it starts to cool down until it goes right back to its original temperature. And in fact, it starts to turn from a rock right back into a coin. And basically, you're stood in the very same place holding that coin. To you, nothing's happened at all, right? Uh -huh. But the truth is this, from that information that you've just given me, which was pretty much nothing because I was practically talking to myself, I now know where the coin is. This time, instead of guessing, I'm going to tell you with certainty that that coin is right here in this hand. Yeah. It's in your right hand. Yeah. Turn them over, let me see. Absolutely perfect. <laughs> so now it's your turn. Okay. I'm going to place them behind my back and in a moment you're going to ask me a question, but you can ask me, is it in your left hand or is it in your right hand? Just ask me a random question to try and decipher some information. Is it hot? Is it hot? It is hot. <laughs> okay. Which hand do you think it's now in? That one. And that means that this hand should be empty, which it is, <laughs> because you got it absolutely perfectly. Now you can see how it isn't gibberish. Take it, place it behind your back, okay. think of another number from one to five and swap that amount of times. Yep. Now um, think of another word and spell it, moving one letter at a time. Yep. So you're either in a different hand or you're in the same hand. And now if it's in your right hand, spell right. And if it's in your left hand, spell left. And so it's either in a different hand or it's in the same hand. Have you done that? Yeah. And now you've got a choice. Do you want to swap again? No. 
okay? Bring both hands out like this. R raise them a little bit. Now, this is where things are going to get a little bit different. We're gonna try and take it that little bit further. I'm gonna show you the difference again between a guess and mind reading, but now you're going to try and throw me off. You're either going to be a truth teller or you're going to be a liar. Whatever you pick, just stick to that character. And I'll ask you a couple of questions and answer in character. Are you ready? Yeah. yeah. Is the coin in your right hand? No. Is the coin in your left hand? Yes. Okay. Do me a favour, put your hands behind your back and don't do anything. Okay. You've got a choice now. You can either swap it or keep it in the same hand and then bring both hands out in front of you. Now I'm going to ask you a question and stick in that character. Did you swap hands? Yes. So now there's still no way that I could possibly know, right? Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna try and give you some answers to everything that you've just told me. Let's go back in time to the moment where you were originally holding it in one of your hands. Before I asked you if you wanted to swap it, I'm gonna tell you that that coin was in fact in your left hand. You are a truth teller and the coin did swap over and it's now in your right hand. Yep. <laughs> there you go. How did you do that? Very well. <laughs> <laughs> the performance that you have just seen is the weakest possible outcome. It really is that good. If you want to perform and learn Just Think, then head to themiraclestudio.co.uk and there you will learn many more routines that are guaranteed to astound your spectators. I'm Joelle and make sure you check out Just Think right now.